So at the end of Scarlet Witch, the annual, fucking Agatha went inside Wanda where she's holding Cthulhu and she ripped Cthulhu's fucking heart out, right? That was the prequel to Chaos. The next issue is that Spider-Man annual number one. So it started off with Agatha with the fucking heart still, right? And then you see Spider-Man all slashed the fuck up. So they like, what the fuck? We like, what the fuck is going on right now? So we go back a little bit, right? We see Spider-Man's up here fighting Rhino. He goes in this alley and fucking Rhino fucking like, what the fuck? He disappeared. I ain't disappeared. His ass just went in the shadows up here in the fucking thing. He whipped his ass, right? Fucking grabbed the shit out. And that's when he came through. Cracked the fuck out of his ass, right? Putting him down and shit. He had made a joke. The fucking people wasn't fucking with that shit. So they walked off on his ass. So he went to go grab a burger before he went home, right? As soon as he went into the crib and shit, opened the door. That's when fucking Agatha was doing her damn shit. And when he opened his window, that shit led to a whole fucking... All this shit. As you can see right here, the window under me. This shit all... He like, what the fuck? How the fuck am I in a mystical lost city in the rainforest? Then we see Agatha. She talking to the heart. Talking some Cthulhu. Do not resist me. Is be uh, behind her in the mirror. This fucking black thing tried to grab her, right? It was about to grab her ass, but her ass turned in the mist and shit. She already know where the motherfucker came from. It's from Corazon. Corrosion, whatever fuck her name is. And that was if you read Midnight Suns. I want to say issue four. That's when you meet this motherfucker Valor and her, right? Yeah, her ass end up killing that dude ass. And now she's the leader of that place that was in and shit. She's Corrosion. She was like, yeah, Corrosion in order to find me if she really need me. And the thing was like, look, the power doesn't belong to you. Dangerous. When you fail, they all die. And then she said, if I don't try at all, uh, the Scarlet Witch believes she's rendered the original Dark Hole and narrated by binding it to her soul. She believes the world doesn't need the Dark Hole. No one else sees it. Wanda, the Sorcerer Supreme, they all have incredible abilities, but lack understanding. And for what's coming, the world doesn't need a hero. It needs a witch. As you see, her ass is in the in this ship. You see the little purple fucking uh, the fucking purple window down there. That's where she at. And then you see out some more and shit. It looked like she fucking created this door in the fucking sea. Anyway, back to Spider Man and shit. And his ass up here trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. He's like, we ain't in Kansas no more. That's when the spider sense went off. He like, oh shit. It was fucking Wolverine coming through, and he stole off on uh, Spider-Man. They falling down while fucking Wolverine's still trying to fucking fight Spider-Man. Spider-Man like, Wolverine, stop, bro. Then he pulled out his fucking claws. He's like, hold on, hold on, bro. We can talk about this shit for a second. Then he started smelling. He's like, cheap cologne. That is you. You the real thing. So they leave, right, to try to figure out what the fuck is going on here. They found out that the location they in is real, but the city they in is fake. Why they was in like this little tomb shit, right? Spider-Man was stepped on this fucking gold thing, right? And it opened the door. When they went in there, they seen this ball thing, but the ball thing like kind of took over their minds and shit. And they didn't even know what it was. And he's like, yeah, but whatever it is, I think it belongs to me. And then fucking Wolverine, like fat chance, but you can't handle it because he was mind controlled too. He said, you don't even know what it is. As a man of science, I deserve the bright glowing thing we found in a not real mythical city in uh, the rainforest. And then that's when this motherfucker goes like, deserve ain't got nothing to do with it, Parker. Only it does. Logan, your claws may not be, may be big and sharp. But so it's my mind. It's his ass. Wolverine literally matrix dodged that shit. When Spider-Man fucking did that shit, he kicked the fucking orb and shit. Fuck Wolverine ass jump up there to grab it. Fucking Spider-Man grab him by his fucking leg, slam his ass, grab that motherfucking damn uh, ball too in his hand. And then he tries to take off. Wolverine chasing his ass. <laughs> he go out there fucking Peter going. He's like, you can't fucking hide, Peter. He's like, I ain't trying to hide. I'm just trying to be agile. <laughs> Grab his ass. He's like, I can help you with that. He fucking grabbed the fucking damn uh damn spider web things. Pull a fucking Spider-Man. Slam the shit out of his ass. Spider-Man get up and shit. Bro ass fucking charge at him and on Wolverine stands. Ah! Still off on Spider-Man. He go through the wall and shit. Then he head bet the fuck out of Spider-Man. Spider-Man like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> he tried to punch the Spider-Man again. Spider-Man Dutch. Then fucking crack the fuck out of his ass as he tackled his ass. Then he's like, alright, what's up, motherfucker? What's up? Spider-Man tried to use his webs on him, but motherfucking Wolverine was slashing the shit out of him fast as hell and shit. Then he ran up on him and slashed him in his chest. That's how his fucking chest got like that at the beginning. Then his ass kicked the fuck out of him. And at this point in time, we fired uh, Spider-Man started to realize like he getting fucking mind control. So that's why Wolverine was able to do this shit. He's like, this shit, as you can see right here, this shit ain't me. What the fuck? Because Wolverine kicked the shit out of him when he was realizing that shit. 
Then he took the orb, as you can see, this motherfucker still mind control. Spider-Man finally came back to his senses. And then his ass took the orb and he disappeared. That shit put it in his chest and he disappeared. And then Spider-Man, his ass ended up into the fucking New York City into an alley. So it was 24 hours later, right? He went to go holler at Jessica Drew. And he said, Wolverine is gone. She's like, what do you mean where he's gone? He said, I don't know what's happening, Jessica. I don't know if anything I just had that just happened is real, but I know my injuries are real, so I can only assume there was a city, El Dorado or something like that in Brazil. Wolverine and I fought over this glowing thing and he just vanished. I don't even know what I did, Jessica. I don't know what I did to him or how to get him back. I don't even trust reality right now. And what if the last thing he'll remember is fighting with me? She told his ass, stop self-loathing. This isn't a good look on you, Peter. Stick to what you're best at. Saving people who can't save themselves. How can I do that if I don't even know what's going on? That's what you came to me, right? I'm assuming there's a lot more you need to tell me if we're going to figure this out. So stop wasting time and she get up and fly and shit. So Spider-Man started whipping behind her and they asked, go find out what's going on. Mystical barrier mysteries have never really been my forte. I'm a man of science and reason, and I've been telling uh, around long enough to know that even the most mysterious equations, congratulations on your victories. You see Wolverine fucking come back out of that fucking portal shit will eventually yield an answer. Wolverine, and this shit gonna be continued in Iron Man annual number one where it's Storm versus Iron Man in this one. And next after that, we getting Human Torch versus Ghost Rider in the Fantastic Four annual. And the Moon Knight annual, we getting Moon Knight versus Tuskegee. He's from a, a Tiger Force. That's, a, I mean, Tiger Division. He like a Korean Superman. That's who Tuskegee, whatever the fuck his name is. I'm happy he getting some more love. He fought fucking uh, Ghost Rider too. Anyway, in September, we getting Spider Gwen versus White Fox, Venom versus Deadpool, and then Venom Annual. Then we getting uh, X Men Annual or Cyclops versus Captain Marvel. And then in the Avengers Annual, we getting Avengers versus somebody. They ain't even letting us know. But if y'all read the Scarlet Witch Annual and you put, like this annual, I mean this annual, what y'all think about the contest of chaos so far?